hello and welcome to my video in which I want to show you today what certificate based authentication is in short CBA and what does it mean for you and your users first of all if you already have Accent Mobile deployment you will maybe have heard from your users that they are complaining why do I have to re-enter my credentials every like two or five days why is, is my mobile phone suddenly asking me to enter my domain credentials so often I just want to check my emails one easy way to get around this problem is that you just use certificate based authentication the user device will show up the certificate which was issued by Xen Mobile to the Netscaler gateway when the user would have to relog on. So that we can achieve this, we need to do some stuff in the backend when it comes to configuring uh, the environment. First of all, let me show you what your environment maybe looks like today and what we have to do. Here in the middle, you can see Texan Mobile Appliance, which is now providing applications and resources to your user devices, which you can see on the right hand. And in the back end, you might you may have already a Microsoft CA, an internal Microsoft Certificate Authority, which is providing certificates like for your uh, web servers, your Xen desktop servers, or whatever. We already have our Microsoft SQL database in which your Xen mobile server database is lying. So we, we don't need to set up any new stuff until now. But what we need is a certificate template, which we need to create by our own. This certificate template is used by Xen Mobile to fill out the information, which is Xen Mobile receiving when the user tries to enroll a device, and then to take this certificate and push it out to our mobile device. So the reason for this is that we just can put our informations that we have stored in Xen Mobile into the certificate. So this certificate template we are using is just the normal user certificate which was duplicated and modified. Let me show you what this looks like. So here you can see now my certification authority and my certificate templates on top. In my certificate templates I created the Xen Mobile template. If I double click this Xen Mobile template, you can see I chose to give it a name and defined a validity period. So when it has to be renewed. And the big difference to the normal certificate is that here in subject name, not as usual is built from this Active Directory information is chosen. So we want to have supply in the request and then it's warning, okay, somebody has to fill out this information. This could be risky. Yeah. And the one who is filling out the information is our Xen Mobile server. The Xen Mobile server has to fill out the details he is receiving while he is enrolling a device and then pushing in the informations. And for this reason, we have to define also here when it comes to security, who is allowed to enroll. There is a very good guide out on the internet by Citrix on how to configure certificate based uh, authentication and they are missing in this guide these, this point here where you have to define who is allowed. In the Citrix course material for the Xen Mobile server class they have a step-by-step -step guide which is also including here on how to define security. I chose to have a special security account which is here called Cert Enroll and you see Cert Enroll is allowed to read, write and enroll certificates. If you would be just a lazy administrator who is defining uh, the domain administrator is allowed to enroll the certificates by Xen Mobile, so then it would work anyway if you follow this guide. Okay, so this is the main difference and the reason also why we have to create a duplicate and why we have to configure this. So, and based on this certificate template, later on our Xen Mobile server is going to issue certificates by just going to our certificate authority. The certificate authority, which everybody from you knows from the web enrollment. So if you go to https double blind slash slash the domain control address in my case, so demo.citrix slash search SRV. So, and this one is now asking me for a certificate based authentication as I already configured it on please go and check out only certificates if somebody is coming with a certificate for enrolling. Okay. 
and here now my certificate all three has opened so but let's go back so based on this template as I said Aurix and mobile server is going to issue certificates and these issued certificates are listed here in my certification authority and you see I already issued a lot of certificates for my demo environment and these were based on the template enrolled by my cert enroll user so this is what's happening so back to the architecture diagram now you can see what's happening we are going to define that our Xen mobile server is allowed to speak to our Microsoft certification authority by using the cert SRV website and then we're going to define an entity where he gets known which of the templates has he got to use and how should he handle new certificates is he allowed to manage and push them out and revoke certificates and where can he revoke all this stuff and these certificates when they got new enrolled they're going to be pushed over to the Xen mobile appliance and now the tricky part comes depending on your settings here the Xen mobile appliance is going to push these certificates into your Xen mobile servers database sorry on your SQL server database if you open up the database and go to the table called dbo.enrollment underscore certificates you will see all the certificates in here and I just swapped over to my to my SQL database and you see credentials for ditma.cop and here in the back end you would see the certificate and the serial number and here on the bottom here is my certificate it is C. Schwendemann and my certificate issued by my demo certificate authority okay so that's what's happening and this certificate is then pushed out to the user's device during the enrollment or when you configure a policy you can also push out other certificates for example when you configure a second CA or an external CA whatever certificates you want to push out to device you can push it anytime there the user device is going then to use these certificates to authenticate to Netscaler to Xen Mobile or even to your exchange server whatever you want to configure so this is what's happening. This was a slight uh, overview on, on how the architecture and the communication works. So let's now have a look what does this look like on our phone, on our mobile device. For this, I'm going to bring up my mobile phone on the screen. So here it is. So here it is. And from here on, there is no difference from what the user sees or users or whatever from normal authentication to certificate based authentication if I log off from my phone which is in German as you can see and re-log on the only thing he will ever ask me is the works pin if you have configured this if you have not configured the works pin or uh, the, the authentication token is invalid any longer so the user will not have to enter his credentials in, in forms of username and password the device will show up the certificate to the server asking for it so which is normally the, the Netscaler or the Xen mobile server in the backend so my super secure pin code and I'm logged on again so if I have now a look in the settings and go to the default settings and to the profiles you see as usual the MDM configuration and the Microsoft uh, not the, and the Xen Mobile CA and on top when I choose to use the when I choose to see the details of the MDM configuration and go to details so and you can see here the certificate which I issued earlier when I was enrolling the device it was issued for C. Schwendemann, so for me, for the domain demo.citrix, and this was issued by the Citrix demo CA. And as you can see, the algorithm is SHA1, which is rather weak. And so for this reason, I'm going to take a second video just right after this video and I'm going to show you on how to configure Xen Mobile to use a second certificate authority and then to move this phone from the old CA to the new CA without having the user to re-enroll his device and so then to use simultaneous both of these CAs and then to shut down the older one later 
Okay, so this is now the end of part one of this first video. I uh, just wanted to introduce what certificate-based authentication means and what it does. If you need more information on Xen Mobile or want to see basic architecture informations, there are great courses at Aero ACS on Xen Mobile where we teach you how to use Xen Mobile, to configure Xen Mobile, and what the architecture in the backend has to look like. So thank you and have a look at the second video if you're interested in how to configure certificate-based authentication. Thank you.